all right welcome back to a brand new video series in this whole tutorial series i'm going to be teaching you all how to code minecraft plugins we will be using the spigot api to uh, program all of our plugins so i'm really excited because i've always wanted to do a series on this so some prerequisites make sure you one have java installed okay i have java 17 installed on my computer but make sure you install java first before you even attempt to do this uh, two, make sure you have an IDE set up. I'm going to be using IntelliJ for this whole tutorial series. IntelliJ is a very popular, uh, very widely used IDE, and it's very easy to use, so I expect you all to have it installed and use that to follow along. You could use Eclipse, but I would not recommend it because IntelliJ is, uh, is really popular, and uh, pretty much the industry uses IntelliJ these days, okay? So the first thing that I'll do is I'll just go ahead and set up a spigot server very quickly. So you can see that right over here on my desktop, I have the spigot 1.19.2.jar uh, jar file. I'm gonna move this inside my documents folder. So what I'll do is I'll make a new folder called spigot server inside my documents folder. I'm gonna go ahead and move uh, the spigot 1.19 file. So. Uh, we want to move this from the desktop, okay, because it's currently in the desktop, and I'm going to move it inside the documents slash spigot server folder. I'm going to cd into the spigot server folder, and then we should see that we have this jar file. So I'm going to load up this jar file. So I'm going to run the jar file by typing java hyphen jar spigot. Okay, and this is just going to run the jar file, and then we do need to agree to the EULA. In order for us to continue initializing the server so let me go ahead and just do that real quick should take not too long so i'm just running through this uh server setup just so you all are on the same page okay so i'm going to run the server and our server should be running okay so pretty much you'll see that the rest of the uh, folder will generate some additional files after you agree to the eula one thing that I will mention is make sure you have the plugins folder created inside the spigot server. Uh, by default, it will automatically create this folder for you. But if you don't have it, just make sure you create it, okay? Because we're going to go ahead and put our jar files of the built plugin that we create inside this plugins folder. And then our spigot server will be able to load the plugin. So let's just close this out because we don't really need this anymore. And let me just minimize this. And so we're going to go ahead into IntelliJ and we're going to create our project for our plugin. So I have IntelliJ opened up. IntelliJ is free. Okay, if you use the community edition. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on new project. And then uh, we can see over here we have a new project. And I'm going to name my project. I'll just call this um, Spigot Plugin Tutorial. And the location of this will be inside the documents folder. And the language is obviously going to be Java. The build system, we will be using Maven, although if you choose to use Gradle, you can. But I'm going to be using Maven, so I expect you all to follow along with Maven. And I also forgot to mention is that make sure you also do have Maven installed as well. You can see that for the JDK version, I'm using version 17. Okay, and for advanced settings, uh, the group ID, I'm going to leave that alone. So just go ahead and just click Create. Okay. And we have our uh, project set up. So now what we need to do next is we need to go ahead and actually download the jar files uh, for our plugin or for our plugin project, right? Now, um, you can actually just manually download the jar files or what's easier is you can actually just uh, copy and paste the XML, okay? So I'll actually leave a link in the description to this URL and you're basically going to need to just copy this XML over here. So this will automatically download the Spigot API uh, for your project. So I'm just going to copy this. And you're going to paste this inside your palm.xml file. Okay. So right over here. Just like that. Okay. Now um, you might see like this as red. And what that means is that Spigot the, the jar files were not downloaded. Now, obviously, over here, it's not showing it as red because I think it's using a cached version. But in order to actually download it, what you can do is just click on this little icon over here, Load Maven Changes. 
And what that'll do is it'll automatically just, uh, well, not automatically, but it'll manually download the dependencies. So I'll just do that. Okay. And it'll take like, you know, a couple seconds for it to finish downloading. But once it's done, it should no longer be read. Okay. So as you can see that we do have our uh, dependencies downloaded. So we are good to go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and create our plugin. So to get started with coding it, we need to go inside our source main Java folder. We're going to right click, click on new or hover over new and then select Java class. And then we're just going to call this class whatever we want. And I'll just call this uh, my plugin. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and extend the Java plugin class. And this is going to come from the org.bucket.plugin.java package. So this is from the Spigot API, uh, you know, dependency that we had downloaded. Okay. And now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and override two methods. Uh, we're going to override the on disable and uh, on enable method. Now um, to get this tab, just hit control O. Okay, on your keyboard, and then you'll get it. So for now, we'll just work with these two methods. And then later on in other tutorials, I'll show you how you can uh, do things such as handle commands. Okay, so let's just go ahead and override these two methods. And what I'll do is for the on enable method inside here, I'm going to go ahead and log a message to the output. So I'll reference this dot get logger, and then we'll log a message so for the level i'm going to use the level enum which comes from java.util.logging and i'll just uh do this i'll set it to info and then for the message i'll just say uh my plugin successfully loaded okay and now that we're uh logging this to our uh, console we'll go ahead and go into resources the folder resources because the next thing that we'll need to do is we'll need to create the plugin.yml file that's very important okay because it tells spigot all the information about your plugin so over the resource over at resources folder inside main right click hover over new create a new file by clicking on file and just name it plugin.yml and then what you want to do is you want to specify uh three properties the first property is going to be the name of the plugin. So I'll just call this my plugin. The second property is going to be the version, which you can, you know, put this as whatever version you want. I'll just put it as 1.0. And then the third property is going to be main. And this is going to be the, uh, the class for your plugin. In our case, the class of our plugin is my plugin. One thing that I will also mention is that our, our plugin is not inside a package. So, in our case, we would actually just leave it as my plugin like this. Okay. So what I'll do now is I'll close this. Okay. So just remember that main is just the class of your plugin. Okay. This is the main file of the plugin. Okay. That's pretty much all it is to it. Um, okay. So now what we can do is we can actually package our plugin. So we're going to go over to the right hand side. I'll click on Maven and expand this part over here. And then you want to go ahead and click on lifecycle, expand this, and you want to click on package. And what this will do is it'll package your whole project. And then you'll see it's going to build everything. And there should be a new target folder that is created. And you're going to see that it created this jar file for us okay so you can actually just take this jar file and move it inside your server folder now i'll show you how we can actually uh change the output directory later on but for now let's just take this and move it into the server folder so what i'll do is i'll open up a new terminal so i'm inside my documents folder you can do this inside your file explorer manually but i'll just use the terminal i'll see the inside spigot plugin tutorial because that's my project right uh, i'm going to see the inside the target folder and you can see that i have that jar file over here i'm going to move this inside the documents folder inside the spigot server directory inside plugins okay 
or actually wait whoops it's supposed to be mv spigot plugin tutorial 1.0 snapshot dot jar so we're moving the jar file into the documents folder whoops documents spigot server and then plugins like that again you can manually do this inside your file explorer okay so i just moved it so the file is no longer in the target folder if i cd into plugins i should now see this jar file okay so now uh since our server is already running i can just type reload and this should reload the entire server and you can see that right over here that it says my plugin successfully loaded and this text is coming from right over here this log over here so that means our plugin has successfully loaded all right so now i'm going to go ahead and show you how you can change the output directory so that way when you compile your uh, minecraft plugin uh, instead of having to move it manually to the plugins folder it'll automatically uh, compile it to that folder so a uh, quick shout out to cody simpson because he actually made a video uh showing you how to do this and this is actually the same exact article that he linked in his tutorial so shout out to cody simpson but i'll also leave a link in the description to this stack overflow page so you can actually uh copy this uh this xml into your palm the xml file because that's all you have to do okay um you could actually just copy this um right over here go into your palm the xml file and right over here just simply paste that over here Okay, and then if you don't have this plugin downloaded, this version text will be read. So I already have I already have it downloaded. So so it's using the cached version. But just go ahead and make sure you click on Load Maven Changes, just so that it will actually download the dependency. So it will no longer be read anymore, which means that you have the dependency downloaded. Okay, so what you're gonna do next is you're going to change the output directory over here. So I'm just going to delete that. And I'm on Windows right now. So I'm going to specify my file path. So it's going to be C colon uh, backslash and then users backslash Anson backslash and then documents and then spigot server because that's where my spigot server is and then backslash plugins. And I'm going to save and I'm going to exit this. Now inside my terminal, you're going to see that I don't have anything in my folder right now. So we're going to go ahead and go to Maven. We're going to go ahead and just package everything. And you're going to see that um, it's no longer going to build that jar file into our target folder. If we look at our uh, PowerShell, if I type ls, you're going to see that the jar file is now over here. Okay. So what I can do is I can always just um, run the spigot jar okay and uh what i can do is i can just specify no gui so that way it doesn't run a gui so that means that it won't open up the uh the extra uh interface it will just it will, it will just have everything in the console over here but if you prefer that as well you could also do that but everything works fine in this console Okay, so you can see that our plugin has been loaded. And if I want to make changes to my plugin, let's just do this .get logger. You actually don't even need to reference this. You can just call get logger. Okay. And then you can just do log level.info. Hey, my plugin. And then let's go ahead and repackage everything. Okay. And then what we will do is inside the console, we'll just type reload. And you're going to see that it says, hey, my plugin. So every single time we make a change, we package it again. And then you can see it says, hey, my plugin. So that's how you can compile into the uh, the plugins folder. So again, shout out to Cody Simpson. Uh, I did see his video on that. So shout out to him. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this whole tutorial. So that's pretty much it when it comes to developing your very first uh, Minecraft plugin with Spigot. So in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to do other stuff such as handling commands. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out.